Bonjour! <laughs> Today on Chef Andy, we're making crepes! We're making crepes, in, but before we get started with the recipe, if you've not craped that subscribe button and subscribe to our food movement, people, what are you doing? We're posting every single day on the channel, so make sure to subscribe, and if you are subscribed, ti voglio bene. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. So, we are gonna take some beautiful, Farm fresh eggs straight from the Altig family farm. We're gonna take three of them total. And I'm gonna crack these beautiful eggs, these beautiful huevos and separate the whites and the yolks. Once we have the whites all separated, we are gonna beat these beautiful whites until they are nice and fluffy and beautiful. And you can tell that these egg whites are nice and fluffy. You do the test, the trick is to flip them upside down. And when they stay like this, that means they're fluffed. Now we're gonna put them over there. We'll get back to those in a second. But right now we are gonna mix in some evaporated milk. Now, I don't know how the milk evaporated, but somehow it's in this can. We're gonna put a can of evaporated milk inside. Now we're gonna take the same can and I'm gonna fill this up with water. We're gonna add a can of water to our milk, our eggs. We're gonna take three cups of good old Bisquick pancake mix. One teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of canola oil. Now we wanna have a lot of canola oil in this mixture because it's gonna make it so our crepes won't stick to our pan. So three tablespoons of good old canola oil. Everything's in our mixing bowl. Let's mix it all up, people. Beautiful. Everything is mixed up. Now we're gonna take our egg whites and we're gonna throw these into the mix. First I'm gonna mix them by hand and then I'm gonna just take my mixer and gently mix the egg whites together. If you have seen my pancake video, this is the exact recipe right here. But in order to make crepes, crepes need to be nice and thin. We don't want them to be fluffy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add five eggs and add that to our regular pancake mix. Once we beat up our eggs, now we're gonna add them to our pancake mix. I usually make this recipe when I have leftover pancake mix, so and then I just add eggs. It's really simple and easy. So we're just gonna mix this around, and you can already start to tell that it's a lot thinner in texture. Mmm, smells amazing, but we gotta put it in my great-grandmother's famous pancake pitcher. This was the pitcher that she used to make all of her pancakes. Look at this perfect crepe consistency we got going on here. Just nice and runny, that's exactly what we want. But we're not done there. We need to add in some beautiful Nutella, but in order for our Nutella to, to, be, to go on real nice, I'm just gonna put it in the microwave and heat it up so it spreads even better. Ooh la la, ooh la la, look at our beautiful Nutella. It's nice and melted down, so we'll be able to drizzle that right on top of our crepes. But the next thing we need to get ready is our beautiful fresh strawberries. So everybody loves some fresh strawberries, so we're gonna slice these thinly, and we'll be able to, Everybody loves some fresh strawberries, so we're just gonna slice these nice and thin, and we'll be able to spread those right on top of our crepes with Nutella. Strawberries, Nutella, crepes, doesn't get better than that. But the cool thing about crepes is that there's sweet crepes and there's savory crepes. You can have, you can make a crepe with um, sugar, with Nutella, with bananas, with f different various fruits. Or you can also throw in ham and cheese. There's different ways to make them. We have our Nutella, our strawberries, our crepe batter. We're all ready to go. So you're gonna need some tools in order to make crepes. I have a crepe pan, but you don't have to necessarily have something like this that's specific for crepes. You can use a non-stick pan. Those work amazing. Okay, so I have this. I also have this little tool here that will get underneath the crepe so it'll be easier to turn, as well as this little crepe wand 
uh, I like to call it, uh, to spread out the beautiful crepe. So uh, let's put our pan on medium. How do you know when your pan is ready? Well, just take some water, throw it right on, and when that just sizzles right off, it means boom, it's ready, okay? You're gonna wanna use some butter so your crepes do not stick to the pan. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little bit of butter, put this right on. Now I'm gonna take our crepe batter, put that right in, and then immediately take your pan and spread the crepe batter all around the pan. So the base of our crepe is gonna start cooking. Now we're gonna take our little crepe wand and we're just gonna gently shape this crepe all right, so I'm gonna take my spatula. I'm just gonna go around the edges of the crepe, kind of like lifting it up. So it does, it kind of freeze it up. Now I'm just gonna take it with my hand and pull it up, woo, and then flip it right down and let it cook on the other side for about 15 seconds and then we'll plate it. Woo hoo hoo, this thing is hot, beautiful. We got it on our plate. Now I'm just gonna take some Nutella, Bella Nutella. I'm gonna go right down the center. Spread it out so it doesn't it's not lumpy. Now I'm just gonna roll this guy up and then we're gonna take that melted Nutella. And we're just gonna drizzle it right over top. This one's just Nutella, but it looks amazing. Look at how beautiful. Mmm. Now let's make a Nutella and strawberry crepe. We're gonna take some Nutella, throw it right down the center, spread that beautiful Nutella out. Now you can put the strawberries in, but I like to put the strawberries on the outside. I think the presentation of it just looks amazing. Put those right over top, then take your beautiful, beautiful Nutella again, and we're just gonna drizzle that right over top. Oh my gosh. Mamma mia, bella roba, we did it guys. We made some beautiful crepes, but I gotta try this. I gotta, I gotta give it a great taste test. Break off a piece. That is amazing. Perfect lightness. You can't go wrong when you add Nutella and strawberries together. I think we need to bring in a taste tester though. Melissa, come on down. Let's give Melissa a big round of applause. Hey, how are you doing? A little chocolate on your nose. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this looks amazing. Look at this presentation. First of all, I've I never seen a crepe this beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> There's still chocolate on your nose. Okay. What about those crepes that I brought you in, in bed the other day? <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a delicious donut with a fresh strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I need some more. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good guys but if you need some more in your life make sure to subscribe to the channel join our food movement here on chef andy and melissa thanks for taste testing wow anytime it's this. always great to have you on the show <laughs> ooh la la ooh la la my version of the crepe hope you guys liked it we'll see you next time in the kitchen ciao belly au revoir